Good morning. Today is the day we are going on the Disney Dream right now, like in a couple hours. So hi guys, hello. If you are new here, hi, my name is Meg. I make Disney-based YouTube videos, Disney travel, and today is my very first ever Disney cruise vacation. I have never been on a Disney cruise before. I am such a Disney girl. I live here in Orlando, if you don't know, right next to Disney World. I just moved down at the beginning of this year, literally to be close to the parks. So Disney is my life, and everyone's always been so shocked when I say I have never been on a Disney cruise, but that is changing today. So right now we are getting all packed up. I'm going on this cruise with my parents. They just flew in from Pennsylvania two days ago, and we are all going to drive here from my home in Central Florida to Miami. The Disney Dream is going out of Miami, which is a cruise port that I have never been out of. This is gonna be amazing. I still don't think it has like hit any of us yet that it's happening today. Um, we've just all dreamed of going on a Disney cruise for so long, me and my family, so I'm feeling very, very grateful and blessed that this opportunity has presented itself. Okay, so let's just pack up and go. Okay, we are officially off. We are on the 417 right now. Mom and Dad, are you so excited? I'm so excited. Can't wait. This is your first ever Disney cruise. My, well, it's all of our first ever Disney cruises. I have toured the Disney Magic one other time in the past, but never got to sail. And for you guys, when was your last cruise? Oh my gosh, um, probably 30 years ago. 30 years <laughs> ago was your last cruise. Wow. And for me, the last time that I sailed was 2019. I was on a Royal Caribbean ship. So I've sailed Royal Caribbean and Celebrity before, but never have I sailed on a Disney ship. And we are all massive Disney people. So this is, yeah, long awaited for. And yeah, we are on the road. Like I said, on the 417, we're looking for gators. We have, living here in Central Florida, we have about three hours is what the GPS is estimating to get to Miami. Three hours, nine minutes. Three hours, nine minutes, let's go. Yeah, so this sailing is going out of Miami, Florida. We contemplated going down last night, the night before, but because this cruise came up, you know, last minute, I, like, by the time I did the online check-in, we have a later, like, boarding time anyway. Um, so we can't get on the ship until the afternoon anyway, so we're like, we're just gonna, you know, get up early and just drive straight down to Miami in the morning. So we got a about three hour drive ahead of us. We're all feeling good, we're excited. We're off. So we just went to this rest stop and look, they have an I Heart Orlando magazine with Epcot and the Walt Disney World 50th thing. Love that. And this cruise is all thanks to my sponsor, 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They are sending me on their behalf on board the Disney Dream. So extremely grateful to them. As always, it never costs you anything more to book with a travel agent. Working with a travel agent can give you so much peace of mind. You get to just relax and enjoy your vacation. This to me, I've made a couple mentions of this in my videos. Like it's a whole other ball game for me going on a Disney cruise. And they have been so helpful to me just like, I love that I can reach out to the agents and be like, what do I do with this part of the online check-in and everything, they have helped me so much. So yes, now we just get to relax, roll up to the port, get on the ship. So we are, I guess we're in Miami or we're like coming up on it like right now. We're starting to see like the skyscrapers. We can see the hard rock, which looks really cool. But yeah, have you guys ever been to Miami before mom and dad? No. I've the airport. Done the airport. You drove from Miami to Key West, okay. We landed in Miami, got a rental car, and so that was about it. <laughs> so I have never, I've been to Fort Lauderdale and kind of like the Cape Coral area, so around there, but I've never been to Miami proper. And this will be my first time going out of the Miami cruise terminal. I have before been to the Fort Lauderdale cruise terminal. That was my celebrity cruise that I did a couple years ago. Like it, I feel like it's slowly hitting me, but that's gonna be the moment where it's like, 
this is happening, this is real, yeah. Oh my gosh, we're here. So we just pulled into Terminal C. That was the directions that Disney gave us and this is where we do bag drop off. So we're gonna drop off the suitcases and go park the car and then that's it. We're getting on the ship, it's happening. This is, oh my gosh, it's crazy. So like I said, I had toured the magic before and already I'm like, the dream is so much bigger. It's insane. This ship is massive. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're here. Like this is crazy looking at the ship from down here. We just parked in the parking garage. We're in, they directed us to parking garage C. And then said so we come right across to where it says C over there, that terminal. This is crazy, look at this. We got the ship behind me. So we parked in the parking garage. Now we're heading over to Terminal C, that's where they said we go to do the check-in and everything, and because we already did the virus test and everything, we got that out of the way. Highly recommend that, doing that the two days before if you can, because it just makes life, you don't have to worry about it. Right. There's not the stress of thinking, oh gosh, what if it's positive? You know, you just, we're good now, we're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully that goes away soon. I know the CDC made it that it's no longer mandatory, it's just Disney now still requiring it as of this moment, so hopefully soon it will go away permanently. It's just one less stress on your vacation. You can just do the online check-in and go straight into the port. Yeah. <laughs> Also, each guest is allowed to bring up to two bottles of wine, or I think it's like six and six beer. cans of beer, something like that. So we have the tote bag here is, we have six bottles of wine with us. Okay, so we just completed everything. We showed them our identification, everything. Now they told us we can go head upstairs. I think this is it. I think this is now we like board right. the ship. It's so cool that everything that we gave, all of our documentation, yes. of course, will all be on that key to the world card. That's all you need. That's all you need. It has your credit card, everything. Yeah, so we don't even have to carry that stuff with us. Oh my gosh, look, you can see, look at the, oh <laughs> the dream. <laughs> we're living the dream. I don't even know how we're all gonna react when we actually walk on board. Like we're walking right now to get on the ship. And it's just like, I, I don't even know. It's like, it's slowly hitting me. Oh my gosh, wait, yes, this is the moment where we walk on the, <laughs> this is it, it's Bon Voyage, they're telling us. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's happening. <laughs> That whole process went really quick too, like going and like having to show them our ID and just everything. And now we are walking on. This is how's everyone feeling? So I'm excited. Beyond excited. Zach <laughs> got his video going. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is it. This is it, you guys. <laughs> We're doing it. I'm like, I don't even know what we get on here. It's like, what's our first thing that we do? Eat? Probably eat. I'm like so overwhelmed. There's so many things to do. I know. It's like, where do we start? I want to see the room. Yes, I want to see the room. If the room's ready, we'll head there. We'll just get situated. Thank you. Thank you. It's goofy. Look at the chandelier. Oh, it's so stunning. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's Donald. We were just terminating this the other night. Oh my god. I'm really 
other shot, like I've seen this so many times in other people's videos, and I really like had an emotional moment getting on. I was like, I never thought that we'd be able to like work with that. What's happening? It's our turn to get on the ship. Oh my god. Okay, so first order of business, the cast members suggested we could go and just do our assembly station. All we have to do, it's very simple. I like the way that Disney does it. You get to just go to your assembly station, check in with a cast member, they check your name off, and that's it. It's not like everyone's crammed together at one time. Okay, so we got the assembly drill out of the way. I love how Disney does it. Seriously, you just go check in. Like, you go to the location that you would have to go to in, an, in the event of an emergency. So you go to the assembly station of where you have to go. They check in with the cast member. They check your name off of a list and then that's it. You don't have to do an actual physical drill. I've been on that before with cruise ships that you have to do a drill and everybody is like shoved body to body in your assembly station. So I like the way that they do this, that it's just like you go, you acknowledge that you know where to go in an emergency and that's it. So right now, okay, we just came up to deck nine, our stateroom, we are 9516. So we're gonna go try to find the stateroom. I think, I'm seeing it, they have key of the world well, cards on. So I think we can go into the room. I'm so excited. So we have a deluxe veranda stateroom. Oh, one of our bags is already here. It yeah, is. It is. Look at that. There it is. Oh my gosh, this Sorry. is it. 9516. So there's our there's key our to the world keys. cards on top of there, she said. Alrighty. Do you want to do the honors? goodness look at this there's where we parked the car right there <laughs> there's the Miami skyline first time ever in Miami this is, oh my gosh how do you guys feel uh, it is it's a dream <laughs> yeah our luggage is down there oh yeah mine got here your bag you were still waiting on it's weird they got separated <laughs> oh wait it might have, I see it the red suitcase is that it that'd be really funny if it was look at the skyline of Miami this is so cool and it's interesting because we are actually among like the first couple sailings to go out of Miami on the Dream. They may have gone out of Miami before, but just recently the Dream had always been in Port Canaveral up by us in Orlando. And then when the Wish came to town, it kind of bumped the Dream down here to Miami, which is exciting though. Because like I said, I've never been to Miami. Dad, what do you want to do when we get back to Miami? You have some place you want to go. Uh, South Beach. He wants to go to South Beach. You want to see all the birdcage filming locations. That's the goal. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So let me show you the bathrooms. I just had a whole moment. I was like, how do I turn the lights on? The lights are out here. You turn them on before you go in. So Disney Cruise Line does a split bathroom setup. Wait, I thought you turned it on that way. Technical difficulties, wait. I think I figured it out. I think you need the stateroom key in. And then, oh yes, that was the trick. Now we have light. Oh, we have a knock on the door. That might be our stateroom host. Okay, let's go see him. But yeah, the Disney Dream, they do a split bathroom setup. All the Disney cruise ships do this, that it's a split bathroom setup. So you have your shower, tub in the one room. And then over here, this is where you have your washroom, like your toilet and everything over here. So it makes getting ready in the morning really nice. Someone can be getting a shower, someone can be in here like doing their makeup. Very, very convenient. And just in general, like the cruises that I've been on comparing it to those ships, that you know, like they say, when you go Disney, you never go back. It's crazy, like the amount of space. Like, you know, cruise ships in general are gonna be tinier than a hotel room, but like we have a full size tub in there pretty much. Like, that's insane. See yeah, go see it, go see it. <laughs> you have to appreciate our bathroom. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that. seriously. That's really and then they separate out, yeah, the toilet and everything's in here. And so I said, yeah, like getting ready in the morning, someone can be showering, you could do your makeup in here with the mirror. It's very convenient. Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna film like a whole room tour and everything later, so we will do that. But right now, we are starving. I think we're gonna go get some food and probably at one of the buffets. And then we do have the later dinner time. So I think the plan of action, will probably eat something right now at the buffet, go explore um, the ship. We want to see at 5.30, there's the Golden Mickeys tonight, which I I mentioned before in like my videos talking about coming on this cruise and everything. I love live theater and like that is something that I have so been looking forward to is the entertainment on board the ship. So we want to go see the show and then we have the later dinner. It's like 8 o'clock or 8, 
15 something. Also something to note, our boarding time was 2.45 to three o'clock, but we got here to the port. We just like came in, they were directing us. They let us check in. We are on the ship at 2.45 right now. So I think they definitely let you check in a little bit early. Cause I was kind of bummed out about that. I was like, you know, by the time we had done our check-in process and everything for this cruise, we had the later time. And I was like, oh, it would have been nice to have a earlier time slot. So I think definitely you can always try to come a little bit early. Also, I'm just so impressed with already the quality of service. Like we dropped our bags off at the port. By the time we parked, came through, like security and everything went so fast. The brief check-in that we had to do went so fast. We walked onto the ship. By the time we went, did our assembly, everything felt like it was less than an hour to like do all of that got up here to the room and the one bag was already here waiting that was my bag and then that knock at the door that we had that was um a host bringing the second bag the bag my parents are sharing so that's crazy that like that quickly so we were so worried like i had packed you know a bathing suit and everything to you know have that just in case we didn't have our bags right away but like so quickly our experience has been we just we have everything we haven't even had to be without our bags. Like they have worked so quickly to like get everything up on the ship. It's been amazing. Okay, we are heading to, right now we're like just trying to orient ourselves because we are like, this is a whole new experience. Like we have no idea where anything is. But like mom had said earlier, your key to the world card is literally everything. It's your payment on board. It's your stateroom card, how you get in and out of the room. It's everything. So. They really recommend a cruise tip that I've always heard is having a lanyard. So mom got us these, how cute are these? They actually have like little Disney cruise logos and things on them, little fruity drinks and stuff yes. too, it's cute. So we have these, we're going to, yeah, use them. <laughs> I forgot where I was going with that. Okay, anyway, yes, we're going to go get lunch now. Food, we're so food. hungry. We're delirious. We're delirious <laughs> and so much is happening. Oh my gosh, look at this. So, oh yeah, this is the 18 and over area. This is where we're gonna be. <laughs> we all just came around the corner and we were like, oh, look at the view of Miami. Look at the houses. Oh, it's so yeah. pretty. <laughs> Yeah, look at all the boats out there in the marina. Beautiful. I'm like remembering all the things that I've seen for years on vlogs and always been so excited to experience myself. Example, unlimited ice cream. Yes, unlimited ice cream is what you get on the deck, which I can't wait for that, but we need food. We need actual food first, so we are heading to the buffet. Okay, we are going into Cabana's right now. This is the buffet, so they have this open for us. I think this is pretty much open all the time. So you can always come and get food, which is the thing everyone loves about cruising, right? It's a stunning mosaic behind me, but I can't even show you the sheer size. I'm gonna have to try to do a ship tour and convey the sheer size of this buffet is massive. And we just saw that there was unlimited shrimp and crab legs and I'm already sold. I'm like, this is the best thing ever. Yeah, look at all the desserts. Oh my gosh. Some fruit, you can be healthy. Oh, they got carving stations down here. This is like just one tiny section of this massive buffet. Okay, we just grabbed a table. And look at the view, we looked out. I grabbed this look at this window table so we can look out at this amazing view. Oh my gosh, I just realized the cups have Mickey's on them. Look at that, do you see that? Like really subtle little raisin. Can I get these? Like, do they sell these on the ship? I will buy them. I will buy them. Here comes back mom with her first plate. What did you get? I know, that's so I mean, me in a second. I'm already overwhelmed. It's just everything. Oh yes, salmon, shrimp. That's probably salmon, what my plate's gonna look cod, like. Cod, some sour cream potatoes, my shrimp, and the little lo mein noodles. Look at the cups. I want these for the apartment. Look, I'm obsessing over these cups I sitting here. Them. Well, look at them. You have to notice the detail. You wouldn't think they're spectacular at first. Oh, they have his Mickey. Yes, That's cute. I want these. Wow. Seriously, can I buy them somewhere? Here we go, my first plate. I got some shrimp, I went in on the crab legs. We got chicken, salmon, and a pea puree, cod. Dad, what'd you get? You went in for the meats. You have like Steamed the meat. beef, ribeye, fried rice. Turkey. There you go. I feel like this is gonna be the seafood and the um, the land and sea. That's yeah, our, our family dynamic. <laughs> we are leaving the buffet. That was delicious. And look, Dad just saw, they have my, my mind birds. Do you see them? Oh my gosh. This is a super cute buffet. Oh, Cabanas, right now they are transitioning to, I believe, like dinner getting started. So we're gonna go head out 
and just explore. We are all so overwhelmed. <laughs> overwhelmed in the absolute best possible way. We were just looking through the navigator on the phone and seeing all the different activities and everything and there is so much, like literally so much. I think we want ice cream though right now. That's yes, the next thing, we're getting ice cream. <laughs> self serve ice cream. I love, something about a soft serve ice cream is the best. And the fact that this is self serve, you can just keep getting it and get as much as you want. It's amazing. That's adorable. Look at the kids like splash pad area theme to Nemo. Also, this is not like any other cruise line that I know of. Disney gives you complimentary sodas for free and coffee and different teas and everything. You can just come up and get it all complimentary. Most other cruise lines, I think, I think actually all other cruise lines, if I'm not mistaken, you have to get um, a drink package, like a soda package, if you want even soft drinks. So it's so nice that Disney like gives you that included. There's lots of Disney differences. I'm already seeing that so quickly. So Cabana's was just back there. That's like the very back of the ship. Here's the main pool area. And they're getting ready for the sail away party in like about an hour, I think. So we wanna definitely try to catch that. We have to catch the first ever sail away party for our first Disney cruise. Okay, we'll start the count now. The first one ready.
now we're just walking around. This is so relaxing now. We're like, we got to see the sail away party. Now we're just relaxing. We're having a moment to like just walk the ship as a family, take everything in. Just got some water. Let me get my favorite new cup. I want these, I seriously want these Mickey Mouse glasses. We are now at the very back of the ship. This is the very back of the ship, aft. And we came out of Cabanas there. This is the outside seating for Cabanas. And yeah, we're gonna explore. Let's go explore. I still can't believe we're here. Can you guys believe this? That this is real? This is a, I feel it's, very blessed. Yes, very. it's amazing. We're back inside of Cabanas, and right now they don't have a buffet happening, so it's a good time to like appreciate. Like Mom just said, she's like, "Did our room have palm trees?" Because we were over on the other side, and I was like, "It did." There was just so many people you didn't notice. <laughs> Time. Yes. Yeah. So now you can appreciate the theming. It's super cute. I love it. I like it empty like Yeah, we just always dine with it like this. But yeah, it was nice. We lucked out with a window table. We're able to like look out at the ocean, see Miami. Look, this is so cool. They have these like sandcastle works of art of all the different Disney castles around the world. They also have clocks that have the different time zones of there's Disneyland Paris. Disneyland California, there's Florida time, Walt Disney World, right there, Tokyo Disneyland, hi. Hong Kong Disneyland, that's so cool. And then I love this mosaic. We took some pictures by this on the other side. And of course the mine, mine, mine birds. Mine, mine, mine. We just walked by the main pool area again. Here they have Flo's Cafe. Oh, they also have a Tomater's Grill. Oh my gosh, all of this is Cars themed. That's so cute. This is cool, so all of this is included. You can just come up anytime, it's like a buffet. But it's these little windows, you can get food. That's so cool. Just if you want a sandwich, you want pizza, you just come get it. Oh, here we go, back to the adult area, 18 plus, here we go. Ah, so relaxing back in here. This is gonna be our area. So this is just like, right now I am just learning like the lay of the land of everything. You guys are discovering it with us. This is Cove Cafe, which is the coffee shop. The things in here are additional, just like we saw also the Vanellope's sweet shop back there. That is all an additional charge. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh that's cool. That's so cool. Did you see the animated one, John? With the... I bet other things will happen too. There is a scavenger hunt you can do to see all the art. We should do that. Look. I geek out over any nod to Walt Disney, so I, I love this. Especially look at these, like these rare photos of Walt Disney. So cool. It smells really good in here. Come get some coffee. Well, they have some liqueurs back there. We just came back upstairs to deck 13. And I believe we can get up to 14 too to see another perspective. Maybe? No, maybe this is as high as you can go? Well, you gotta still board the aqueduct up. Oh, I think that's all that's on 14 is you can board the aqueduct. Look at this, there's seriously people jet skiing past the Disney Dream right now. That's crazy. Also, we still haven't pulled away. The whole like sail away party where they count you down, that's kind of just like counting down to vacation. It's not actually like, I thought the ship started moving at that point. You don't. I think actual like sail away is like six o'clock. Oh wait, they're making an announcement. Maybe they'll tell us. Well, a very good evening, Disney Dream. This is Carly, your cruise director. Once again, welcome you all on board. Also, all of this is the adult only area and this is so nice and relaxing up here. And this is I should have been recording that, that was funny. So we were like, literally sitting back, we are like, this is so relaxing, and then the, the horn just like blared. <laughs> Every person. Every person like, jumped. <laughs> but we're getting ready to, I think Sail Away is about to happen. I'm trying to figure out when it's happening. We're like, when does the ship actually leave? Because we have a really good spot. We are now in the adults only section, like forward, that you can basically see when we're getting ready to take off. I'm so excited. <laughs> So yeah, we would love to watch the ship leave from here, but hopefully they leave soon because we then need to go see the Golden Mickeys. Golden Mickey. 
Look at this view that we have. Also, wouldn't you love to have one of those state rooms right there? But look at this view. So yeah, we want to watch the ship pull out from here. Oh my gosh, we're pushing away right now. This is so cool. Dad, do you see it? See, we're pushing away from the... It's happening. This is so cool. We have the best spot in the house, I feel like, to watch this. Dad just went over, he wanted to watch them like push away from the side of the dock. This is unreal, look at this. Look at the cars driving past us and we are moving. Look at the, look at the cargo ship with all the cargo boxes. Oh on. yeah. There's Norwegian Cruise Lines Terminal, Royal Caribbean's Terminal right there. many birdcage lines this trip <laughs> right. but it's so cool we've been seeing like the ferries oh yeah look at the sculpture we've been seeing ferries like taking cars across because you have to go by ferry to get to Fisher Island it's truly it's an island it's out there so cool yeah look at the high-rises this is gorgeous oh yeah those buildings I want to go to Fisher Island and as you can see we are almost out to open ocean here Okay, the adult only deck. Best spot to watch sail away. <laughs> There's that last little bit of the jetty there, and we are out to sea. Look at that, you can see the beach like as we're pulling out. We are now heading to the Walt Disney Theater. It is currently 5.53. We have seven minutes to make it to. It's the six o'clock showing of the Golden Mickeys that we're trying to make it to. So I'm so happy that I was worried if Sail Away was gonna be at six that we were gonna have to like pick, are we gonna watch the ship pull away? Cause we really wanted to see that. Or are we gonna go to the Golden Mickeys? And I also like, I've been talking about the live theater this entire time. So we're getting to do everything. We're like hustling it right now to get to the Walt Disney Theater. Also, it is windy up on deck. <laughs> I am so excited. So many people have told me Golden Mickeys are can't miss. It's kind of a compilation of a bunch of like classic Disney songs. You see all the characters. I believe there's no filming allowed. That's what I've always heard. But we will let you know what we think. And I'm sure we can show you like going into the theater. And the Walt Disney Theater is on, um, it's deck three and four you can go to because they have like two levels of seating. So I think we might try to get to deck four and get like a upper level seating. You can see the aqueduct, it goes out over the side of the ship. I seriously cannot wait to do that. That's gonna be so fun. We made it, we made it with one minute to spare. Okay, let's get into the theater. 
We just left the show. It was so good. I'll talk about that in a second. But right now, we're gonna head. We actually want to stop by. We haven't planned any like port adventures for this trip. And tomorrow is Nassau. So we want to stop by the Port Adventures desk, um, or like guest relations, somewhere in the atrium and see, maybe we can get on like a last minute excursion if there's something that interests all of us. So we'll see about that. And then I think we're game plan, we're gonna go back and freshen up for our dinner tonight. But we just came out and look at this. We are now out, out to sea. Oh, there's a yacht out there. But in this gorgeous, oh, we could play shuffleboard. <laughs> This is so breathtaking. We're just like, it, we had a moment when we all like came out here and we just stood for a second and looked out at how blue the water is. Okay, we just got back to the room. So we went down to like the guest relations deck on deck three there in the atrium. There was a crazy long line. You can book appointments if you need to talk to them for anything at guest relations. So that's good to know. But I asked the one cast member and I was like, you know, is it possible just to go to, I know they have a separate port excursion desk and she said yes you can do it that way and she says also right in the Disney Cruise Navigator app you just hit under my plans and you can like you hit the little ad and you can book a port excursion yourself so we're gonna look at that and we might just if there's something that calls to us maybe we'll do something on our NASA all day tomorrow okay so now we are coming out to the balcony Hello. Hello. <laughs> And I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video right here and then start part two of our evening adventures. We're gonna get freshened up, head to dinner, and I really don't know, maybe we'll go check out those adult lounges, maybe go to the pool even tonight. I don't know, I'm excited. I just wanna like do everything. There's so much to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here. Thank you guys for watching part one. Please subscribe for, there's gonna be a ton, a ton of Disney Cruise content coming in the future. Please like the video, comment below, all those things go our way and helping me and the channel. And with that, make today magical. Bye, Bye guys! guys. <laughs>